welcome to the project demonstration of 2d mapping robot along with live video transmission with help of esp8266 wi-fi module and here a 2d mapping purpose uh, we are using three ultrasonic sensors for obstacle range detection and a uh, digital compass so these two types of sensors interface to the uno board and this data will be continuously fed to the uh, pc section through the zigbee module so the obstacle distance continuously monitored and uh, here uh, while demonstration purpose we are taking around 28 samples for every moment and that distance from the three sensors along with the compass direction is input to the uh, MATLAB and the MATLAB will plot the data after 28 samples collected it will plot the uh, like so called traveled path of this robot and while moving if an obstacle detects in front of this robot then it will take the right direction and it will check for the uh, left side and right side obstacle presence if uh, the left side is not present the obstacle then it will move the left side so like that the robot will be controlled with the help of l29 motor driver so we are using four wheel drive robots which is a 30 rpm dc motors with the 12 volt operated and these four motors interface to the l29 motor driver through the uh, like uh, l uh, Arduino Uno board and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp battery pack. So in this battery pack we can see the two sub battery packs are in parallel. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp from this sub battery pack 1 and this consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 1 amp and these two are in parallel. So we will get 12 volts 2 amp DC output directly which is rechargeable battery. To charge this battery we are provided with this charging circuit. So in this one, uh, the very first step before demonstration is we should keep the battery under full charge. So keep that like this manner on this robot and uh, on the power supply to this transformer just by providing the 230 volts AC input. So now the light indication uh, the battery is charging. So it will take 6 hours minimum, 8 hours maximum to be fully charged. Till the duration we should keep the battery under charge. Once the charging completes, you can switch off this charging circuit and keep it aside. Okay, so this is the very first step and the next coming to the connections, we have interfaced these three ultrasonic sensors, it's pin number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they are the interface connections for this one, A4, A5 for this compass sensor and a Zigbee interface at the pin number uh, 8 and 9 interface to the, sorry, 0 and 1 for the Zigbee module, 8, 9, 10, 11 for this L293 motor driver and ESP32 camera for live video transmission directly it was getting power supply from this LM2596 voltage regulator. So coming to the components for explanation, SR041. 2, 3 and a digital compass sensor and a Zigbee module LM2596 voltage regulator which will take 12 volts DC input from the battery and 5 volts DC output for the ESP32 camera and this is the Arduino Uno board and this one is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the sensor modules directly okay and coming to this section and the laptop so this is the receiver Zigbee module which was interfaced to the PL2303 uh, USB to TTL converter. So which will take the TTL data from the Zigbee and provide that to the USB data to the uh, laptop. So initially we need to install the MATLAB and then PL2303 installation. So it's already installed but again I am showing you that. Right. So next and install. Right on end of the successful installation, if it will ask for installation of the .NET, then you need to install the .NET uh, driver also. Now, at the end, insert this USB TTL when it asks for the insert the USB to TTL. Any USB slot, any USB slot, just insert that. There we can see the power indication. And here, don't restart. I am repeating that. Don't restart the PC. Okay, right. And now go to this PC right go to this PC here right click on that show more options go to manage this purpose is to get the communication number of our Zigbee module so there go to device manager and in this check with the ports here we can see the ports so there you get this one if you get this error 
right click this so instead of showing the com number so it will show you the contact the supplier so if you get this error right click on that update driver browse the computer and now select the 2008 version next done so now you'll get the com number successfully over here right you're getting the com number of four right now minimize this and now open the code so from that 2d mapping so all these three are placed in a matlab for project folder and now open this code directly right click on that so that it will open to the matlab and it open Right. So once you get the MATLAB code open, so it will look like, like this. And now coming to the next. So now the system was set. And uh, next coming to the live video streaming. So from your mobile phone to connect to the ESP32 camera, switch on the hotspot. So configure the hotspot name to project 6055 without any space, without any capital letter check twice before these settings and the password should be 12345678 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz after that enable the hotspots and the next install the network analyzer application from the play store right after this you can switch on the possible after all these settings successfully done on the power supply to that just now i place the uh, like uh, so called bottles as a wall so the object Obstacle uh, should be less than the 50 centimeters from the ultrasonic sensor then only we can get the plotting of the uh, like uh, path now on this now you can see now the robot is started so wait I'll uh, show you that so in your hotspot settings you can see one device is connected right and now after this device connected go to network analyzer options do land scan do the scan and you'll get the ip address of our esp32 camera right now copy this and open in google chrome so directly we are getting the streaming directly from the camera here so if any error goes just you can reset the power supply right it has to be loaded right so slowly to be loaded hmm. okay so this is a live streaming directly from the esp32 camera and now coming to the uh, like a uh, plotting of this one now so let the robot stop so as a 28 sample sent to already now just run it now so open the code so click on this on the code they will get the run option just run the code now when you see the uh, like uh, reading now now reset this Arduino inner board right now it is sending the samples so you can see for every sample sending you can see a blink on this USB detail converter now it is capturing the data just I am moving this for two to four samples I am moving this right now wait the till uh, 28 samples to be collected right now once the sample is completed in the command window we can see the right so if you get any error like this just in that so you can use up arrow so when you click on up arrow you can see the f close s enter and now rerun the code and reset the uno board after you see the reading here right right now you can see the like this is the path so initially when i remove the object so this is going to be the left side of the robot and this is the right side path of the robot so when i move the object so coming near and far as you can see the like a uh, path varying means when the robot zero is going to be the robot path and above is a 20 centimeters and below is a 20 centimeters when i'm moving more you can see the difference directly